It was only a few years ago where we saw the Notre Dame Fighting Irish send an offensive guard by the name of Quentin Nelson to the NFL. Since then, Quentin has been amazing for the Colts offense and was well worth the draft pick. Despite this, he might not be the league's best lineman from Notre Dame after the 2024 draft. You see, Notre Dame has a left tackle by the name of Joe Alt. Not only does the name Joe Alt sound like an all-pro tackle already, but he had a 91.8 PFF grade in 2022 for a reason. Despite playing tight end in high school and often only being rated as a three-star recruit, Joe Alt had switched positions for Notre Dame and immediately became a stud on the offensive line. Size-wise, he has the height, weight, and most importantly, arm length to transition into the NFL very well. You see this show up a lot in film, as his arm length really helped him keep defenders away from the football. And as an athlete, he is more than capable to transition to the NFL. Now, his ability to get up and kick outside at the snap of the football isn't an, in an elite stage, but his natural speed and ability to get to the second level very quickly, thanks to his time at tight end, shows up a lot on film. So he has the natural athleticism and great size, but does he have the blocking abilities that show up on his PFF grade? Well, despite his little time at offensive tackle, Joe Alt is an elite blocker already. Now, Joe Alt isn't a flashy pass blocker. He isn't an offensive tackle like, say, Ike Mukwonu from NC State, who pancaked defenders a ton in college. However, Joe Alt doesn't need to pancake to stop defenders in their tracks. As the thumbnail suggests, he is great at simply controlling the pass rushers and preventing them from getting to the quarterback. His strength at the point of attack aka the pop where the two linemen collide could improve but Joe Alt has a very good anchor and keeps a wide base between his legs that allows him to essentially delete the edge rusher from the play. Personally, I think Joe Alt is an even better run blocker than a pass blocker. One thing I hate seeing from top offensive line prospects is that when they block for the running back, they just try to keep defenders in place or slightly move them a few yards away from the ball carrier. But Joe Alt does something much, much better. When Joe is assigned with the run block, at the snap of the ball you see Joe Alt put his hands on the edge rusher and simultaneously move his legs and body inside so that he himself becomes a wall and an open hole for the running back. And unlike many prospects, Joe Alt does this on almost every run play that is in between the tackles. Combine this with his ability to push defenders on the ground and get to the second level, and he proves himself to be an elite run blocker. I don't like him quite as much as I liked Panay Sewell coming out of Oregon back in 2021, but Joe Alt is otherwise one of the best tackle prospects I have ever scouted and I believe he's absolutely worth a top 10 draft pick as a blue chip level prospect. And remember, he only recently switched to tackle, so I'm curious to see if he can elevate his talent even further in 2023 by adding some muscle and improving his get off at the line of scrimmage. If he can, I see Joe Alt being an all pro for years and like a keyboard, control, alt, and deleting the NFL competition.